Hello, my Intune friends. Today we're going to speak about Windows updates in Intune. And I want to start with two questions first. How often does Microsoft release feature updates? And the second question, how often does Microsoft release quality updates? Let's uh, hold that for a few seconds. You can post the video if you need more time because here comes the answer. So feature updates, Microsoft release normally twice a year. That's why you have the version number of Windows with uh, 22H1, 22H2. So it's half year, every six months. Quality updates are uh, released every month, usually on the second Tuesday of each month called Patch Tuesday. So that's 12 times per year. Okay, let's start to configure this. So I have these two um, um, Intune clients. They are virtual machines. So if we look at these two here, so the user here can install themselves this uh, feature update. So we don't manage, it's written nowhere here that it's managed by the administrator. We're gonna change that. We wanna manage when we release this to our machines and how we handle the updates. So let's do exactly that. Now I have only two machines, but we're gonna manage in three different way. We're gonna have something so-called update rings, where ring zero, think about it like you drop a stone in uh, water and it create this ring. The first ring, which is ring zero, it's the beta tester, the really early tester. Then the second ring, which actually is called ring one, that's the validation user where we sent to test everything. And when that's cleared, we send to all the others who will be ring two. I'm going to have only one I'm going to put in ring zero and ring one. And the rest who I don't have here would be in the ring two. A good, um, a good measure is to have about 10% in your validation. And that's good for testing packages and everything. So let's create these groups first before we configure the um, Windows Update policy. So I go to groups here. Okay, if I have a few groups already. Yep. So let's create a new group. Security group is all fine. And let's put the name. We call it GBN. Uh, let's call it ring zero. This group uh, contains beta early tester tester devices um, on your own risk. I think we can do an emoji with Windows dot and we can put this laughing guy here. Not so serious. Don't do that in your production. Um, assign type, we want this to be uh, static. So we actually assign it. So owner, each group should always have an owner. I put myself, all the million different user. Members, here I want devices. So all my devices start with GBN dash. So let's see, we have our two user. So for a ring zero, the test, I'll start with the lowest number, 33. So I'll remember that easier. Create. And then we're going to do a ring one and a ring two. And ring two, again, not going to contain any user. So I create the second group, GPN, ring one, uh, validation devices. So we have to be careful here. Owner, I'm going to put myself again. And member here, I'm going to put the second machine with a higher number, 34, and select and create that group. I'm gonna create an empty ring two group, which will have no devices though. Um, and here we call this one GBN, oh, if I can spell, GBN ring two. And this is uh, all, all devices. Well, actually not, I can't spell ring. It will not include uh, ring zero and ring one, but all the others. So owner, I'm going to put myself here. And for the moment, this one will be empty. This could be a dynamic group also and add all devices. So if we now look, G 
EBN ring. We should have three groups. Perfect. One machine and the second machine and uh, all the rest go here. So now we have the prerequisite. Let's do the fun stuff. So we go devices. We are in the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Central. And the URL is endpoint.microsoft.com. We went devices. If we scroll down a bit here, we have this tree where we're going to work with update rings. And then what we spoke about earlier, feature updates. That's to uh, uh, Windows 22 H2, for example. And quality updates are the updates that come monthly. So let's start with the rings. So we need to create, you guessed it, three rings. So we click here, create profile. And let's call this one ring zero. And again, for uh, beta and uh, uh, early testers on your own risk. Let's do that one again. And we go next. And here comes all the settings. So this is, of course, you can put what you want. I'm going to take some pretty quick ones here. So Microsoft product updates. Yes, very much. Drivers. Why not? I have Hyper-V, so they won't get any drivers, but I think it's a good one. So quality update, the deferral period. Here I will put very, I've actually put zero, which is a bit too little, but this is for ring zero. So this is for really early tester. Here update deferral can put one day. Uh, upgrade, let's put yes on that one. I don't have any Windows 10, but if I ever got any, I want them to Windows 11. Of course, be careful to put this one if you're in production. So you can, you know, when you update the feature update, uh, it update and it put the previous one under windows.old. You can see that on the um, disk. This is how many days it will keep that. And I think for tester 10 is pretty that's the default that's pretty few days I'll, I'll put even five here and then i will increase that and be very generous for ring two enable pre-builds i mean this is ring zero so normally you would probably run uh, uh, insider but um, i will not do that for my uh, ring zero that would be too edgy uh, then we can have Automatically install at maintenance time. We can keep that as default. I like that. Start working hours, 8 a.m. Well, I, I prefer 9 a.m. and work a bit longer. So put 9 to 7. Restart checks. That's very good. So it won't restart if battery is too low or if someone is presenting. So I like that. Even though on the zero one, I ring zero I could have that on skip option to pause windows update i don't want that i want the security options to check for windows update outside manually sure if someone wants to do that and they want to keep it up that's good i'll use the default windows update notification we can turn it off and on then deadline for feature updates so let's uh, let's allow that deadline we can put, uh, I want actually one day here uh, for quality updates. Those are released uh, 12 times. Let's put zero on this one. Uh, grace period, I put zero too. So that's uh, auto reboot before deadline. No, you don't have to auto reboot before that. So again, you can read about these settings. They are pretty self explanatory but for ring zero, I go pretty aggressive. So go next here. Then we want to add a group. Well, I, I happen to have a group that I want to use, ring zero for uh, this one that we named ring zero. And we could add filter and stash and exclude. And no, we are good. And exclude, we probably going to do on uh, ring two, which doesn't have any. So we can click next and create. So the first one is done. So that means that the uh, one of my machine Machines now should say that they are managed, but it might take a time before it get it. So let's create ring one. Ring one with its validation devices. So we go to ring one after we have done uh, uh, ring zero normally. 
We keep the same, so I go even faster here. I'm going to be a bit more generous here. Deferral period, we can do two days. And for a feature update, we can do seven days. Let's update this as well. Here to uninstall, we can give them uh, two weeks. Why not? And we don't do any pre-releases. We have the same working hours. And my people have to work one hour extra. I don't pay them any extra. It's only me. Restart checks. I like that one. Always keep that one on. Option to pause Windows update. I would say no, we want that. And they can check. We use the same here. We can allow uh, deadlines. So here we can be more. We can put three, four. Uh, grace period. Um, let's three on this one. Although I don't think I maybe on ring zero I should have kept that one. Uh, I think I go back on ring zero. That one we can actually auto. It's a bit evil, but uh, hey, ring zero. That's early tester. GBN, and we do ring one, and go next, and then create this one. So I'll go back to ring zero properties. And I guess all settings are in one, so we just update the ring settings. Let's put that one to auto reboot. It's a bit evil, but uh, as mentioned, ring zero, they're living on the edge, those devices. Let's create the last one, ring uh, two. Oops. Ring two. Uh, all, uh, all company devices so when ring I have a problem to spell today uh, when all um, ring 0 and ring 1 got it and you have tested it then ring 2 is ready to get it same allow allow deferral period we can uh, give them uh, one week pretty much uh, feature update let's give them one week there too yes update to Windows 11 here, let's be really nice people here. We give them 45 days to roll back. Definitely not want that. Um, we all work from 9 a.m. to um, uh, 7 p.m. here. Uh, restart checks, yes, we like it. Pause Windows updates. I don't want that. We Well, let's give that to Ring 2. I think since we don't give that to Ring 1, we should still mirror that. I mean, I wouldn't be totally to let people post that, but I, security is important here to GBN. Um, that I like, that I like. Let's allow deadline for feature update. Here we can be a bit more nicer, two weeks. Uh, oh, for feature update, we can be even, let's give them three weeks if they really want to defer. Uh, quality updates, only two weeks. Race period, let's be nice here and put seven days then. And we don't put that one. Put next. Here, we could add uh, uh, ring two. And ring two could be all machines, even ring zero and ring one devices. But what we can do is that we can exclude ring zero and, uh, why did I put that? ring zero and ring one I could have stayed there right and put these two here so then regardless of um, if you add the uh, ring zero and ring one to ring two they, they're not going to get these settings they get their own okay I like this we have good settings so let's configure feature updates and this is again feature updates is the big update from like windows 11 uh, 21 h2 to windows 11 22 h2 or next year 23 h1 and stuff like that so let's create a profile i'm gonna name this one gbm 22 h2 because that's the version and it's not the windows 10 one i want i want the windows 11 one and then well GBN's uh, new um, Win 11 standard is is 22H2 or something like that. Pretty lame. Um, 
Roll out option, we have three here and they are self-explanatory, but uh, we want to make them available as soon as possible. So we could have put the date if that was our at a specific date, but no, nah, let, let's do it as soon as possible. We go next, assignment. So I'm gonna, since we haven't tested it yet, I'm just gonna do that for ring zero for one. So that means only one of the devices is gonna get uh, Windows 11. And no exclude. So we go next, and then of course when it has been validated well for the um, uh, ring 0, we'll go in here and then add the ring 1. And when ring 1 says all is good, then we add the ring 2. Quality updates, I'm not going to add that here, I can just sh uh, show uh, quickly. It's if you really want to specify uh, exactly which one you want, but I always want the latest. So I'm not going to use that. I don't really see the use for that unless for some reason you don't want the latest updates. And now I made myself go out here. So we have created our uh, three rings that we have connected to our Azure AD groups that we have created. And here we see all the deferral. And retail is because we are not running any uh, beta or test one, which I said we probably would do in ring zero. So it could change that, but I prefer to have the stable one even for ring zero. And feature update, it's the big update 22H2. You just connect that to which ring and which option to download. So now if we go to our um, uh, clients, let's see if we see some changes. Okay, now it have passed some time and have synced. You can see that by uh, Everything is uh, grayed out, not everything, a few parties grayed out, the stuff we have uh, configured in our policy. And this machine, if we go WinVer, we see this is uh, Windows 11 21H2. So this machine should be in ring 1 and get the updates. So if we ask for the update now, then this should disappear and it should just start to download and start to install. See, because this is the first time this machine now checks with the new settings. And it's starting to download Windows 11 now. Yeah, <clears throat> this one going to take some time. Uh, so let's wrap up this video. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to show here on the rings. If I go to ring uh, zero and for some reason I don't want the updates to come out, maybe they are breaking something, then you can go here and pause. So you could say, hey, don't do any feature update or quality update and pause it. And then you can resume when you're ready. Or if you have installed something, you can uninstall the feature update. And that means for everyone in the ring. And you see here, so far my machine haven't come up here succeeded. I think it's a bit of delay, so it's probably going to get there. So that's how you can manage uh, Windows Update in Intune. Thank you very much for following along. See you next time.